What's going on everybody? Emeka here with Driven Hard. And uh, those of you new to the channel, this is gonna be a nice treat. Absolutely stunning day here in beautiful West Vancouver. And uh, gonna go for a ride. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the options that I have on the 2019 Range Rover Sport autobiography, dynamic. Uh, go through some of the ones I love, some of the ones that I might not go with again, and uh, just allow you to sit back and take in some beautiful, beautiful scenery. So let's uh, unlock her and let's go for a ride. So first things first, let's shift this into dynamic. So dynamic mode is selected and we will be using manual shifting. Let's go. All right, welcome everybody. So, just got this back from the dealership a few days ago after almost a month of waiting for some parts to come in and they were a little short staffed and everything, but uh, so I'm just in the, in the joy of, of having it again. So, um, but yeah, man, oh man, she is good to be back. Solid front linkage was replaced on the passenger side. Uh, but I'm gonna talk about that in a future video. Uh, this video, we won't really dive into that. There's gonna be, I'm actually driving to a spot to film the uh, maintenance and repairs video uh, right now. A little nervous about that top camera up there. Is I guess I'll hear the gunk 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 if I lose it, right? Okay. Let's stay focused. Hopefully the wind noise didn't ruin that pull. Alright guys, so little highway pool because the window was open I, I turned around tried to do it again but then there was a cop actually up there and it's weird because that road goes up to the mountain and I usually take that road pretty fast and I've always wondered if cops can be on that road because I think it's like private like Cypress owns it not the West Vancouver but uh, yeah so to my surprise but uh, so he might be looking around so I gotta chill a little bit it's Sunday it's sunny you know they know people are out enjoying themselves on the roads especially as you know summer times getting up here but um getting a little warm should should have worn my driven hard fitted t-shirt yes we got merch it's coming um end of april we should have the store up hats the hoodie finally i got this right uh, a couple different shirts and uh we'll start with that and we'll, we'll grow from there but uh, I know a lot of you have been asking, hey, where can I grab the hat? Where can I do that? And it warms my heart that you guys want to support me. I know it's a small channel. I'm just, you know, I love cars specifically, love Land Rover, love Range Rovers. And, uh, you know, I, I did this channel to make videos of all the types of videos. Like, I would want to sit and binge and watch, um, you know, myself. And so that's kind of what I, I just film. And so it's great because I know those of you watching these videos, commenting and interacting with me like we'd get along great because you know similar likes and personalities and, and, and whatnot some of you i don't know but you know for the majority of you um yeah so hopefully we can do some meetups in the next little bit but let's uh let's talk options as i kind of uh figure out how to you know get out of the west van area and hopefully we can open up the country roads and my gopro stays on on top of the truck we all good, we all good. But uh, all right, so this is the 2019 Range Rover uh, Sport. It's the dynamic, uh, dynamic one. So autobiography with the dynamic package, if I remember correctly. And basically, the dynamic, I think it blacks out the badging and um, I know it gives you the configurable dynamics. It's been a while since I've built one online. But uh, so 
what are some of the options that I, I love and uh, what are some of the options that I definitely would not go with again. So, and keep in mind, I don't really have a list. Why is that light on? Because that's on. I don't have a list. I'm just kind of going off memory here. But that one option I do, I, I've come to love, actually two of them. Um, one is the domestic 110 volt uh, plug. So right now I'm charging my uh, camera battery. So it's like the three prong plug. So I got one here, right in the back of this console, and then there's one in the trunk. I charge my car or my uh, camera camera battery with that. I'll charge my laptop sometimes if I'm working in the car or whatever. Like it hit, like I love that thing. So that's I think it was like a hundred dollar option or something when I got it. So definitely that's like a must have um, for your daily, I guess. Uh, another one is definitely the fridge, the cooler, fridge, whatever it is. Um, that came with the four zone climate package or whatever it was. Keep in mind packages and options they change over the years. But that was definitely when you know we lived in Monterey, 40 degree, 40 like 100 Fahrenheit, um, you know, pretty much year round almost. So just having that is amazing because it is, it gets cold. Like it gets cold. Um so loving that. Look at this view. Look at this view, huh? Oh, it's never been so old. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, so that that's definitely been a, a cool thing, especially for the longer road trips. You know, keep chocolate cold, sandwiches cold, drinks, beverages cold. Um, you know, it's uh, that's definitely been an option, uh, an, an awesome one. Um, you know, I got all the safety features. Um, you know, I think that's just a no-brainer to get. Uh, you know, the highway braking. You know, it's nice to have it. It's definitely saved me a few times. The, actually, the emergency highway braking has saved us really twice. In Mexico once, the truck was deciding to pull a U-turn, and uh, it noticed it from a long ways away. And uh, I think it just started alerting me early. It didn't actually brake. But one time on a little tighter highway, kind of like this, um, you know, a car made an emergency brake or something, and this thing just fell. Like we all just went, oh, like it just like dropped the anchors, you know, like insane, um, the braking power on this. Um, let's see if there's a cop hiding up there. So, you know, I'm grateful for, for uh, grateful for those uh, safety features there. What else do I love? Obviously, I got the full offer package. Can't remember what it's called, but uh, you know, that's something. If if you know you're gonna be offering. Like, it's a Range Rover. Why wouldn't you get it fully loaded? And I guess that was kind of, like, my, my thought process in, in the beginning. It's like, because I was actually looking at getting the diesel because I was concerned about gas. Um, you know, but, like, you know, the more I looked at it, I think I looked at the interior of the, or I got one for the day, loved the interior, and then started playing around with the, the diesel option, and I could not get that interior. It was just, I didn't like the interiors that the diesels were coming with. And so that's when I was like, Oof, I'm not going with the V6, I'll get the, the V8. And um, I'm just somebody who go with more power than you'll need, go with a bigger engine, it works less, it's smoother. I'm not a fan of Land Rover's smaller engines. I don't, like, I think, I don't think they're as reliable as their, their larger ones from what I've seen. Um, so I love this, you know, the V8 supercharged, supercharged V8 here. But uh, what was it talking about? Yeah, so I ended up going with the autobiography just because, you know, why not? I wanted the full Range Rover experience. The only reason I didn't go with the SVR, um, it was about $30,000 more. And that was like, you know, a little bit out of the, no, not a little bit. That was, that was more than we could, we could really do comfortably at that time. Um, but we, I wanted massaging seats, right? Because we knew, like I was driving them. Mexico, we were coming back to Mexico, you know, we kind of wanted all the creature comforts that a Range Rover gives you, right? So, you know, I wanted the, the massaging seats, the wife absolutely loves them, and you can't get those with the SVR, or at least back then, and so that was one of the main reasons we just decided not to go with the SVR. So speeding laws here in Canada are, are ridiculous, like in Mexico, they're here in Canada, 
or at least in BC, if you're 40 kilometers over, I don't know what that is in miles, if you're 40 kilometers over, um, they can pound your car for seven days. And it's like a whole bunch of points on your ticket. Like it ends up being like $1,500. fitted it with the CD player, it's a no cost option. Make sure you tell your dealership do not build it with the CD player. They do it by default because it's a no cost option, but it kills your upper glove box. Like it removes all the space and I was so mad that they did that. Um, so definitely, you know, that's a lesson learned. Um, what else here? The one regret, the, the one option I didn't fit with, there were two that I didn't fit with the tow package because you didn't need it but in hindsight the tow package gives you better recovery points at the rear because you have the, the tow package and it's a hideaway I believe it's the hideaway one so you don't actually even see it so I probably would opt for that next time but the the other option I didn't go with I didn't go with the Meridian 3D sound system for four thousand dollars the 1700 watt one I went with the one that comes standard on the autobiography the 25, 23 speaker, whatever it was. And that thing is awesome. I'd play some music for you if it wasn't, uh, if I could, but you know, monetization, gotta feed the kids. Um, but, um, I should, can't be 40 here now. So this is very cop zone, this area here. So I gotta pay attention to so I, I should have gone for that because I'm the type of person, like I said earlier, it's like, you know, just go for the top, go for the, you know, go for the, the, the top of the top of the line, everything, right? Experience it. And I love the sound system here. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Big music guy. But like I was telling my, my older brother, fuck, I can just only imagine what that, like, you know, what the next level one is like. So that's the biggest regret I got with this thing. And I definitely won't make that mistake again, for sure. Um, I wonder, actually I'm gonna go check out this gravel pit. So I wonder maybe I could do some filming here. Nope, it's shut. So I can, you know, because we always used to fight over that back, you know, when we had the mass and it was just the one, right? Um, in the wintertime, I, I like being nice and stuffy. She hates it. So this has really been, um, that's definitely been one that we've enjoyed. She loves keyless entry. I know that's kind of standard on pretty much all vehicles now, but uh, she loves that. One of the, I think we had a Mercedes for a bit for a loaner and uh, it didn't have it. And like, you know, it's a little thing just hitting the button on the key, right? But yeah, so that's something. Soft closed doors. Thought it was a little gimmicky, but I think it just comes with the standard. Can't remember, but my God, those are awesome. Especially if you if you have kids and they don't really have the power to kind of close the close the doors themselves. Um, those would be awesome. So love those. It was on the Jag I had as well. That was kind of. Got some stuff rolling around in the back there. So. What do you guys think of this highway? Let me know in the comments. It's called Highway 99, the Sea to Sky Highway. This goes up to Whistler. So from, from Vancouver to Whistler. So 
so you know full tech what was included in the tech package you know got the 18 way heated cooled massaging seats it is tuned can't get that from the factory unfortunately so it puts out just over 600 horsepower which is cool Some 20s with 
with all-terrain tires. Psh, that looks badass. Tires, okay, wheel size. I would I would never get the 21s again. Land Rover and Audi are the only companies that really use 21-inch wheels, so there's not a lot of tire options. Only select tire companies make tires for 21s because there's not a ton of vehicles for them. If I got the 22s, I could order some tires from like Gladiator Tires and they have proper all-terrain tires for 22s, which is kind of weird, right? But they make them. Um, versus, you know, or go, go with the 20 and you get like way more. You get way more options. I wonder if this is something I can. Nope. Um, you get way more options. So I'll definitely go with 20s next time. Possibly 22s. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, definitely not the 21s. I just, I like the design of these ones, so that's why I went with these. But. Looking for a little ledge that I wanted to go film the other video on. What other options today? Yeah, like the autobiography comes pretty well, pretty well loaded, right? So there's not a ton of extra stuff. Um, you know, you're really gonna get with it. Mind. 
okay.
All right, guys. I'm going to head back, try to find that original spot. But check out the next video because I'm going to talk about the cost of repairs that I had to pay for out of pocket um, and why it took like a month uh, almost to get this thing back on the road. But uh, hey, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, appreciate that. Till next time, everybody, let me know what you're driving hard.